versus Potato. So I've seen Sunfish a couple of times in some highlight reels and stuff like that. His Rosalina is nice. Like, I think he's been repping the character since Smash 4, so... He has, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, bear, I bear the scars of this character. <laughs> But he still has a ton of character knowledge, and this is a character that did get touched up a little bit in the recent past, so he wants to see what that character can do nowadays. Oh, my. And, and do, doing things he is, these, these, this zoning pressure, the, the side view with uh, Rose is insane. It's keeping uh, Potato at bay really nicely. But as we know, Fox, once he gets something started, you're just put in the blender for quite a bit. But Sunmish managing to escape it a little bit. Exactly. I think that like the pressure is going to be the change up on this matchup. We have to see what Potato Ooh. can do. Great empty hop into the up smash. Sunfish dropping shield a little bit prematurely. And we're seeing the classic Fox, Fox Ledge trapping. Really good on Sunfish not to drop shield there. If you do try to shield grab Fox after he back airs your shield, that move is safe. He can down smash you. He can hit other attacks on you. So if, if you see a Fox back airing your shield at ledge, make sure you hold that shield up for dear life. Agree. This character can't really do too much if you are in shield. All he can really hope for is either a poke or it's like, all right, I'll get 17 forward throws <laughs> and maybe one of these will kill eventually. Still, though, this uh, Luma is still alive and still causing some trouble for Potato as he's trying to get, <laughs> get out of my face, bro. <laughs> That's definitely just like, Sunfish is offstage puppeting this character. It's like, yo, I, I know I know you ain't going to forget about my man, Luma. <laughs> he backs off he's like gives slowly. up the entire edge strap. It's like, no, nah, I just want this star out of here. He's like slowly edging his way back in like, hey, remember me? <laughs> but still, Potato managing to wrap up that first suck. For, for Fox's credit, she doesn't ha he doesn't have too much trouble killing Rosa. But like we said, Rosa doesn't have too much ki trouble killling Fox right there. It's an excellent down air from Sunfish to take uh, Tato right off the side. Anytime you're in a linear recovery situation against this character, Sun is going to set that up with Luma walls at edge. But now, how does he actually get up? That's always the question. That's a tough part. Fox ledge trapping, very reactionary. He can he has a lot of moves that last a little bit, in, in namely Nair. Uh, so it's, it's pretty hard, honestly, to get out of the corner against Fox because his, his frame data is really generous in that department. It's kind of hard to get out of any disadvantageous situation yeah, against look at this, this character. Like, <laughs> look at this. Rose is too big to, to land because fo the onslaught of Fox landing. Oh my god, that was really good. Using the up and then just buffering a hitbox with Luma, but now you get the full jab trap oh, in between no. a rock and a Luma. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Potato trying to end that a little too early. You know, you gotta... This is offline, baby. You can, you can react to if the Nair connects or not. You don't gotta just let it rip as soon as you put that Nair. Oh, okay. I think he actually messed up on the text chase mm. situation right there. He tried to go ahead and get, like, a jab to get the reset, but instead got the forward tail. Still, the Luma is out of there, so that does give Potato a little bit breathing room. Make it back to stage, and the down here up smash, that was really, really good. You know, we don't see too many foxes in New York, so I'm, this is really a treat to see. Also, Rosalina's, honestly. I'm... A, you guys got some wacky characters down here. Oh, for sure. And you're going to see a lot of the space animals in this <laughs> region, too. That's awesome. That's so cool. Good landing aerial again, using the active hitbox of Lumina just to apply a little bit of pressure. But Sun is having a heck of a <gasps> time landing. Great parry. Triple up tilt, and the combo oh is God. still going. That damage. Look at all this damage. It's still going. Yeah, Sunfish has no jumps left. Has to commit to an air dodge here. And Luma being more of a hindrance than a help in this matchup. Since, you know, Luma counts as a hurt box as well, and it can extend Fox's hitboxes just a little bit, making getting down for Rosalina an absolute nightmare in this matchup. For sure, and Sun is having a heck of a time just landing anything that isn't a trade, it feels like. But when he has Luma, he can trade with a couple of Fox hits, but you got slow startup. If you're going to go ahead and trade, Fox is going to reset and up air again. Tries for the snow is Potato with a forward smash at edge. Not quite going to work out. Gets the grab, forward throw, reset the situation, just tossing out limbs. Please get the Luma away from me. And Luma can't really do anything there when you uh, have Rosalina grab and throw him because of the throw armor. And again, a really nicely placed up air right there through the platform. It's going to net Potato that game one. Potato looking clean AF. Oh, yeah, the that pressure. Was so good. Real. Well, it was so good. Sunfish had no room to breathe. And honestly, that's what you want to do to Rosa. You want to suffocate the hell out of her because she can't really put out a hitbox quickly enough to deal with you. That was a clinic in what to do against characters that require setup. Mm -hmm. If you need to go ahead and do all these nice tricks with your Luma, you want to go ahead and set up the distance perfectly? No. Oh, I hit no. buttons, I go forward, what do you do? <laughs> Fox go burr. <laughs> exactly, basically. <laughs> Fox with a big green button and he knows how to use it. Exactly. So... I feel like we're going to maybe see... It's, it's tough because Fox has such overwhelming speed and frame data with a character like Rosalina, like you were saying before. You need those setups. You need that little prep time, you know? It's like it's like, it's like like Batman. Like, Batman needs prep time in order to get something done on the bad guys. Like, Rosalina needs that prep time, too, especially to set up Luma and stuff like that. So, it... I also love how Potato hasn't really been dropping his advantage. You know, he's not stepping off the gas, and that's super important because because once Fox is in disadvantage against this matchup, it would be kind of a nightmare. That's the one stock that we saw Sunfish get as Potato mm -hmm. was off stage and immediately just got down aired aggressively. <laughs> that one laser at the start for Luma. Optimal, optimal. <laughs> get down, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, though, 65 already racked up on Sunfish Scabs. Can you can you believe the pressure Potato's doing right now? My man Fang, this has been just, again, we've already got Luma dead. I, I wanted to just wait to see if the Luma was actually going to come down, but not only did he nope. put on a ton of damage, but he's got Sunfish stuck without resources off stage. No Luma, no prayer, perhaps. Gets the landing aerial, but again, immediate parry. Potato going for these huge F smashes off stage too, but still a solid ledge trap. Still, Sunfish just doesn't have any room to breathe. My man is getting smothered right now. Like he, he needs to figure out some quick option, some way to get out. Uh, it's tough to jump against Rosa too because Fox can really track you wherever you are uh, reactively as well. And you're just seeing Sunfish is, might might as well just buy a house here at the ledge because my man has got some ill real estate there right now. Yeah, he, it is just a struggle to get out of the corner. He gives up some real estate, gets the up tilt. But he can't cover the landing. He has to, like basically commits to an aggressive option, trying to get like an early stock at 70% with that down smash. It does not work out though. I'm loving these F tilts out of Potato. Also, I know we're talking about Potato a lot, but my man is working it right now. Like he's, I love these F tilts to keep the Luma pressure off him every time. Finally, Sunfish managing to find an opening. And yes, I like this a lot from Sunfish. He's putting out so many hitboxes to stuff out these approaches from Potato. That's what he needs to keep doing right here. But it feels like he whipped on that one yeah. out of shield option, though. Mm -hmm. like he was struggling to find something that he could respond to Fox's shield pressure. And it, with that, when you go ahead and guess wrong against Fox, he's not going to allow you to guess again. Oh, that's true. For, for, 100%, 100%. And again, Sunfish trying to, you know, he had the stage control right there, decided to commit to a roll right there and put himself right back in the corner. Like, I, I feel like Rosalina is played best when she's being played defensively, just walling you out with hitboxes consistently. But we're seeing Sunfish just try to scrap with Fox in the air, just trying to counter it with... Uh, aggression of Rosalina's own. And that's kind of tough because Fox can bait out those offensive options with these little short hops. He can still juggle. I don't also know why they went back to this stage because I feel like the main way uh, Potato's been killing has been off the top the entire time. True, perhaps it's just because the MBDA, it should be MDBA special is PS2. Mm. Like, it's just these two players know each other really well. I'm familiar so with the situation. really comfortable on this stage, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But again, chasing Sunfish down is Potato, forcing him to edge. And again, we're right back to the right side of this stage where we play like three Ooh. quarters of this match. Oh my god, that was perfect. So yeah, the, the hitbox on Uppy is super powerful from Fox. So if you can, and Rosa's hit, uh, Rosa has no hitboxes on recovery unless she decides to do the Lunar Landing. So I, I actually like the idea a lot from Potato to just go off stage and try to track with that still. Actually jumped into the blast zone right there. Yeah, it feels like he was being a little bit over aggressive with that smash type. When you yeah. get a full stock lead, why not go ahead and swing the defenses? Just ledge trap, you know? Like you don't you don't have to take those big commitments, especially as ledge against a character like Rosalina who what? struggles and whoa, my man Sunfish. He's out. <laughs> my man's trying to launch himself into the sun right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so unfortunate right there. I wonder what input he was maybe trying to go for some finicky like side B move right there. You know? Most likely. The side B now brings it so that Luma's directly in front of Rosa. Right. So that's probably what it was. He was trying to do like a side B and then immediately jump afterwards. Came out as an up B. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of Rosas have been trying to implement that tech as of uh, lately. But still, I, okay, I love that a lot from Potato. Just, nah, I don't really want to play the game off stage far too long. Just using that jump and side being back on. He air dodge? dodge coming up. Yep. <sighs> Barely makes it back. Does well, get Luma back at least, but so long for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> but still, Potato, you know, just keeping on the pressure and playing defensively. The, the, the struggle right here for Rosa is that her moves take a lot of startup. Fox is almost going to beat her on startup almost every single time. You know, Sunfish, Sunfish has mostly been playing, I feel like, just to claw this game back. Like, doesn't really have any substantial combos he's been hitting. Hasn't been able to get his setups because Potato's dealing with Luma has just been so... It's just been... It's been A-class. It's been fantastic. Yeah, it's typically whenever you see the star getting sent away from Sunfish, Potato is quick to focus down that yeah. character and just run across the stage if need be, but okay. absolutely need to get Luma out. The up smash by Sun does draw even stocks, but at 90% already, we are at up smash kill percent. We've this got is a, a very light character. Though. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Send Luma back, please. Get me oh, some space. Oh, there it goes. No. Pota the option Potato was looking for the entire time working. And yeah, I, fe I feel like Sun was sending Luma out to kind of save himself on the way back to stage, but we weren't really seeing... Uh, I'm assuming the reason that uh, Potato was going for all those F smashes is maybe he was trying to get a hit before, below ledge or something like that, or maybe some sort of two-frame option, or just maybe trying to catch Rosa's giant body on a high recovery. But it seemed like uh, Sunfish just kept launching Luma to his doom every single time, and then once Sunfish actually managed to get back to stage, he had really no... L Luma's a big, powerful disjoint you can use to really get yourself out of a lot of sticky situations. So if you're just throwing your child away, and you have no child now, what are you going to do? It feels like <laughs> talking, to, talking to Sun, too, one of the biggest weaknesses of this character in his mind is the fact that it struggles a lot to get back from Edge. Yeah. So it feels like perhaps what the option was, like, I will sacrifice my Luma, just please let me back on stage. Mm -hmm. 